Have you ever felt lonely and that nobody understands how you feel? Hello, this is Ligia Huben. In this opportunity, we will explore what is what happens when we feel lonely because there are different times in our lives that we may feel that way and it happens and it's common that happens when we go through a transition transitions such as the death of a loved one through a divorce maybe you, you lost your job you're going through a changes well now with um with COVID-19 that we have been you have we have been living this way for a year and a half and although it's true that now we are going back you know into mingling with other people having more social life going back to work at the place of work however there are some people still that don't want to go out they want to take care of themselves they don't feel you know comfortable to be in having social activities with other people so they may stay at home and they may feel lonely are you one of them because one thing is to be alone to be alone and the other one is to feel lonely that's the difference and because when we are alone we may enjoy our solitude We may enjoy having some me time, as I like to say, you know, to, to do some reading, to do some writing, to just watch a, a movie that you want or go for a walk and just be in silence. You may enjoy, you know, being by yourself. I like, you know, I love to be by myself as well. I love connecting with people and I also enjoy tremendously when I am by myself. So maybe you are one of those, you know, maybe you enjoy it as well. However, there are some times that may happen that we feel lonely. And when that sense of loneliness comes, what to do about it? Let's say that you're going through a situation and you feel that you're alone. Not only that you are alone, you feel alone. And sometimes you do not feel understood by others. And that's even worse. And you just stay in that place, unable to, to, to move from that place. You, you may feel stuck in that place. And what to do about it? Because in times like these, some people, what people do is some check social media check social media what other people are doing where are they going who with are they having dinner or lunch and the thing is that they start feeling more lonely even because they start comparing themselves and i say this because i hear it too much i hear this too much and it's important that we do something about it it's up to you If you want to just, you know, uh, spend your time doing that, checking social media, checking all the time, because one thing is to connect. I love social media in that aspect, you know, to connect with people, to spend a little time, and that's it. However, the other is to spend hours in social media, and it happens. It happens because I hear that. Is that helping us? Sometimes we stop living our lives because we are living through the lives of others. Do you want that? It's something that you have control over. So if you can limit the time and take some of that time to, to do something that you enjoy and if feeling lonely, if having that feeling of loneliness is affecting you too much, it's hurting you, you may feel depressed because of that, then it may be time that you talk to someone, to go you know, to a professional and share how you feel so that person can give you skills and tools to deal with that. The important thing when, when we are going through you know, a sense of loneliness, when we experience a sense of loneliness, 
is to acknowledge it, to realize, oh, yeah, I feel lonely. Not to just, no, it's nothing, and I'm just put on the shelf. No, even, you know, when we go, let's say that we go to, to a social activity, you know, to a dinner, and we are surrounded with people. And then what happens if you go to this place and then despite of having people around you, you feel lonely. You feel, I don't fit here, I feel lonely. So that would be a great opportunity for you to reflect in what is making you feel lonely. To have, you know, some introspection, to go in and ask yourself, what is making me feel lonely? What is it? Because the moment that you know the cause, you can do something about it, okay? So that's like when you are feeling lonely, even surrounded with people. And when you are by yourself, what to do? There are so many things that you can do. Instead of just, you know, laying in bed or laying on the couch and saying, I'm so lonely, this is horrible. I'm so tired, you know, of being inside the house. I feel so lonely because we can go there and stay there. Do you think that helps? However, if you'd say, well, I am at home, what can I do to make this situation better? And I'm going to share with you, and I loved it this past um, Friday when I have my Zoom meetings, because that's something that I want to, to, to share with you in case I haven't, you know, you, you don't know. On Fridays, I have Zoom meetings. I offer Zoom meetings that are being sponsored by the Alliance for Aging, and they have been doing it for a whole year, over a year now. And the beauty is that they are extending the, you know, sponsoring them because the result has been great, thank God, and it's beautiful for me, you know, because, you know, to be able to help, I love it, and this has been great. So we're going to continue. It's on Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're interested, you can, you know, put like a direct message for me to send information. So that is something that can help also. And this is one of the topics that I covered in one of those, in those meetings, no? You know, to feel lonely or to be alone, it's a difference. Now, one of the examples that one of the ladies was sharing that she's doing, and I loved it, she learned how to saw in YouTube. With YouTube videos, she learned how to saw. It's amazing. And she even showed to us, you know, what she has made, you know, she, uh, she did a pillowcase and, you know, she made a pillowcase, she did. And it was so adorable to see that. So it's up to us what we do, okay? What, you know, what we can learn. Maybe there's something that you have always wanted to learn. Go to YouTube and learn about it. So there are things that you can do. I can, you know, I can suggest that you take some of that valuable me time and use it to your benefit. You can always choose either to stay there, you know, complaining how lonely you feel, and I understand that. However, there's always something that we can do to help us feel better. I give you these suggestions, you know, these suggestions with, with all my love, all my care, with the hope that you take some of them and apply them and you feel better with it, okay? So I send you a hug and I wish you a beautiful week.